this is Sam coming at you again from Living Life. Uh, in this adventure, we are going to partner up with some good friends of ours, Fred and Delinda Wiley. Uh, we do a lot of things together. We love going motorhoming or RVing together. Uh, we boat together. We fish together. Uh, we just enjoy each other's company. So on this trip, we were invited, or maybe I invited myself. You know, I'm 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 known to do that. Uh, we're going to go out to uh, Silver Lake Cove Resort, and this is out, you know, towards uh, the volcano, Mount St. Helens, but Silver Lake is a pretty large lake with a bunch of canals, and during the winter time of the year, up until the spring, you have crappie that are really abundant and easy to catch, and they typically go into canals to spawn. And what we're doing is we are catching those crappie as they come up the canal. I didn't videotape a lot of that because uh, the weather was terrible. But, uh, hey, we did what we had to do, and I'm going to show you how we, how we prepped those crappie. Uh, as you can see here, this is my buddy. Uh, he can't believe the drone is, like, following him. Uh, <laughs> he didn't believe me. But, you know, the drone, if you put it on, uh, like, active track, it'll track whoever you highlight. So he's pretty cool with that. Uh, he'll probably go get a drone here in a, in a week or two. I know I know him. Um, but, yeah, we had a great time together, and uh, we stayed a couple of days at uh, Silver Lake Cove Resort. Uh, we're in one of the cabins. He and I both have motorhomes, but the motorhomes are still winterized, so we're doing what we got to do. You know, there's no need to stay in the house. Get out there, live life. Weather wasn't great, but that's okay. So... Here, you know, I got a bag of spot prawns that my wife and I caught in the summer. Uh, we have a lot of spot prawns in the freezer. And what I found is they, they last a while if you vacuum pack them and freeze them. So get that head off because the head has an enzyme in it. And it releases an enzyme that will spoil the shrimp. But you keep them on ice, take the head off as soon as you can, wash them up. And those shrimp will be ready to go. Uh, so here I am just cleaning them up a little bit. Uh-oh, that shear slipped. Hopefully it didn't damage my wife's copper sink because I would be getting in trouble for that. Um, so take paper towel, get that vein out of them, and get them, get them so they're ready to go. These things are absolutely delicious. And then here are the crappie. They're already clean. They're, I scale them gut them and you know cut the heads off they're ready to go so i'm just going to cut these guys put some slits three slits on each side slits are important because it's going to make them cook evenly and also if you have those slits that meat just comes off like oh like butter it is good to go but you'll see in the end when we do the eating part but this is just getting them ready to go Ooh, spot prawns and crappie. Lord help me. I, uh, you know what I needed, my ingredients I needed for this, this fish fry. I needed some Hendrix and uh, Hendrix gin. I needed some tonic, lime, a small glass, cause this should be a real short cook. And then over here I got my crappie that's all clean and it's, uh, it's, I got it cut into some slits as well, slits cut into the crappie. And over here, those are spot prawns, all, all deveined and clean, ready to go. And everything that you're seeing here came from basically my backyard. The crappie, I went down towards Olympia, Washington, or actually Mount St. Helens, Washington, and caught the crappie in a lake called Silver Lake Cove. And then I'm gonna use just some vegetable oil, and I'm gonna use a little Creole seasoning just to spice and, you know, Give my batter a little spice. Uh, this should be a real short cook. And I do have salad in the refrigerator. So those of you I give a hard time about never eating any green, I'm gonna have some salad. So don't worry, I got it taken care of. All right, peeps, I'm in the shop again. Hey, when I'm in the shop, I'm in my happy place. Don't think I'm not. Just because I can't fry anything in the house, that don't mean I'm not happy in the shop. It's just me cooking for me and my wife. She's not gonna eat much of the fish anyway. She don't eat really fried food, unless it's some fried chicken. Now, now she will have some fried chicken. Uh, I just wanna show you, I didn't show you how, how I caught them or what I used to catch them, but I'm gonna show you what I did, the rigs I used to catch them with 
Uh, I wasn't able to film a lot out there because it was really, really rainy. It was, it hailed, it was windstorms, and I just didn't want to damage any of my cameras, personally. So let me show you the rigs I use, and then I'm gonna start cooking these crappie up for you. Hold on just one minute, let me grab that for you. Okay, so this was the ticket right here. This is a, the crappie rig I use, and it's just a, uh, a, a Mitchell, uh, Mitchell reel, just a little cheap reel. This thing does really well though with panfish and anything small. And this is the jig I use, just a little crappie jig. This is actually a, uh, a, a trout magnet. Uh, this thing right here is, is really good to go. I use a slip bobber. I use a little, uh, you know, just a little uh, lead weight that I pinched on the line. And I did it lightly so I can move this. And the slip bobber, if you guys know anything about slip bobber fishing, you know, you can control what depth you fish at with this thing right here. So this was good to go. I just got it really short here, but I was fishing at about 24 inches uh, for the crappie. All right, let me show you what we're gonna do with these crappie. I'm gonna dredge them in flour, just uh, one at a time. And that mix, remember I added a little of that uh, Tony Thatcherese to this, because I wanted to make it pop. And then as soon as you get them dredged up, Let's put them in the grease. And when you drop them in, make sure you drop them in away from you so you don't get caught up. Drop it in away from you. And it is cooking. We're cooking with grease now, baby. When you're cooking the crappie, remember to keep that grease about 350, 375. Ooh, -wee, that's pretty right there. Look how pretty that is. People don't understand how pretty that is. It's all good. That's what I'm talking about. All good in the neighborhood. Mm, mm, mm. And those boys are about ready to go right there. People who are not from the Pacific Northwest, I just want you to see what I'm working with here. These are called spot prawns. Don't get mad, don't get jealous. Come to the Pacific Northwest, or if you can find them in your local hometowns, if they're selling these, these spot prawns, these spot prawns are off the chain. I mean, they taste like baby lobster, they're sweet. So just uh, look at them, how they cook up. They're gonna roll up. Uh, and the key with any shrimp is don't overcook it. So that's what we're trying not to do here. So let me just drop it in the fire for you. The, the grease, look at that. Well, they cook so fast, it's unbelievable. And they taste so sweet like baby lobster. I wouldn't lie to you. Just look at them, they're turning pretty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, that looks good. Lord have mercy. Remember what I told you, these, lot, these babies are sweet. You don't have to cook them very long. Oh yeah, look at them right there. They are pretty. Pretty sweet, that is. My wife and I, we catch these on our boat, steady lady. We normally catch enough shrimp to last us throughout the winter. Uh, so it's, it's a good deal. And you can see these bad boys are about ready. Prawns was when Bubba Gump said fried shrimp, boiled shrimp, sauteed shrimp, shrimps and grits. Hey, I know exactly what he was talking about. Remember, I'm from the South. But what is the difference between a prawn and a jumbo shrimp? Can someone please tell me what that is? I noticed the taste of the Washington jumbo prawn or spot prawn is unbelievable. It's like a sweet little lobster. It, it, you can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. All right, here we go. Played up a crappie and a few shrimp. And you see these spotted prawns, how big they were? And then they shrank down way small. But these things are like the best tasting uh, shrimp or prawns. I'm gonna try this fish. I'm not gonna eat it with anything, just the fish. It seems to be seasoned really well. So I'm gonna break it apart. Let's do this. 
pull that top fan off. Look at that. Look how it just comes apart. Oh, jeez. Take this right here. Just just pull your piece of meat off of there. See how that meat just come off of there like that? Oh, my goodness. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. If you're a crappie lover, that ain't right. That's all I can say. Let me taste this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, Lord, that's good. That is so good. To another taste here, another piece. And the way I've got it cut and scored, the meat just comes right off the bone, people. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that ain't right. That ain't right, people. How good that is. That isn't right. Since I cooked the whole crappie, minus the head and guts and scales, you will have to maneuver around a couple bones, but that's okay. Mm. This is crappie at its best. Oh, Lord, this fish is hot. It's hot fish. It just came off the uh, skillet. So let me do something over here. Let me taste one of those shrimp. Those spot prawns. Look at that there. Mm. Oh, Lord. It tastes between lobster and an oyster. Oh, my God. That's good. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Let's get some more of that fish. It is so good. This white fish is just so flaky and good. Man, if you haven't eaten crappie, you are depriving yourself. I am typically a big fish guy, but this is good eating right here. And you know what? I'm going to credit Fred and Delinda for this. I'm going to go to old Southern boy who lives in the Pacific Northwest. But I'm going to tell you something. Those guys brought crappie back to my, uh, my menu. I used to eat this in Alabama. You know, I lived in Gulf Shores. I lived on the Gulf Coast. I lived in Foley, Alabama, which is really close to the Gulf, Gulf Coast. But this reminds me of home. And you know, with that being said, I have to grab me a good old beer that we used to drink back home. I'm, I drink a micro brews out here in, in Pacific Northwest. Zodi Baffa, Zodi, Zodi Baffa, Zodi Baffa, uh, Alaskan Ambers, uh, home brew, micro brews. And it's all good. It's all hearty. It's all healthy. I, 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 let's take the healthy back. It's all hearty. But I'm going to break out a beer that we used to drink back home. So you guys just kind of hold out for a minute and let's reminisce. All right, people. I just want you to know this, my friend, is an ice cold but light. Ice cold but light. The go with my crappie and my spot prawns. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks for watching the video. This is Sam with Living Life. Crappie and spot prawns. Oh my God, you can't beat it. Mm, good stuff.